Hey, in this video, I'm going to share with you my three favorite Obsidian themes. Stay tuned. Hey, my name is Brandon, and thanks for uh, checking out this video. I am fairly new to Obsidian. Uh, as far as, well, I've had it on my computer for a while, but I haven't really started to dive into it. And as I dive into it, um, I, I've been able to learn a couple things about some different themes. And what I want to do is I want to show you my three favorite. But truth be told, there's two that I feel stand out far and above all the other ones. And the one that I end up choosing, uh, I'll show it to you. But first, in case you're not familiar with how to uh, switch your theme settings, the first thing that you want to do is if you have, uh, get down to the lower left hand corner um, and the go to your appearance and you can actually come in here and you can manage and install uh, different themes and you can test them out yourself but let me uh, let me go ahead and close that out so right now the the first one that I'm going to show you is actually called prism and what you'll notice is there's some dark themes and some light themes. And under Prism, I, what I do like, and I'm going to kind of show you a couple of different things. I actually like the light theme for Prism uh, better than the dark. Now, I don't like that it doesn't automatically come with some different colors for the categories, like the, the tags and everything like that. And again, and if I use the wrong terminology, I'm still learning through this myself. Uh, but it also just has the carrots over here on the left. I like how it kind of breaks out the different... Uh, tabs up here on the top with the purple, uh, you know, I guess kind of following with the obsidian uh, color itself. So um, I, I do like this one, but my two favorite themes that I really like, uh, number, and, and that was my third, number two is ITS theme. Um, let's go ahead and switch over here to the uh, light theme. It, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty visual. I like that it has the folders over here on the left-hand side. And you can kind of see how it quickly can rearrange everything. Uh, if I come through and just kind of scroll through, you'll just get a better feel for some of the different, uh, the different screens that are over here. Uh, the, the next thing that I want to show you is let's go ahead and pop over to the dark theme. Uh, version of this one. I really, I, so the first one, Prism, I like the dark theme. Uh, this one here, uh, the ITS theme, I like the dark version of that as well. I, I feel like it has great contrast. And, you know, even like this one here, it's a canvas versus just a regular note. And that pops out very quickly uh, as I as I go through and cycle through trying to locate everything. And here's quickly you can see the difference between folders and notes. So I do really like me some ITS theme. However, my number one theme that I really have uh, taken a liking to is called Blue Topaz. And I have one other trick that I want to show you. Um, but if I come in here and I click on Blue Topaz, let's show you the light version first. So I, I now what I do like is over here on the left hand side, you'll see some additional styling with the uh, you can see the different colors coming down along through here. And what I like is that it's quickly able to um, as I click on that, you can kind of see the hierarchy very quickly. You can also see the different levels. Uh, you can see the folders and files and whether they're open or not. Um, so that's kind of cool. I, I like that. It's very nice. I like the visual separation between the different uh, areas of my vault. Now, what I also want to show you is the dark colored version of that, which is which is this is my uh, let me hide that here. This is my this is my default is the blue topaz dark styled. Uh, but we also have one extra twist that we uh, we have in here too. So let me just kind of show you. So this is just a regular note. Uh, this is another regular note. And then this is just a Canva, uh, canvas view. What I recommend you also taking a look at, if you go to the community plugins, the style settings plugin, if I turn this off, you'll see that it just goes back over here to the arrows on the left-hand side. And I'm going to turn that back on. Uh, it gives, a, again, the structure to uh, some of these different um, folders over here on the left-hand side. But what I also wanted to show you, let me pop back over here. You are able to change some of the different things. Like, see where it says Jaeger's Vault here in the upper left-hand corner? You can control the styling of, uh, let me come over here, nine things I wish I knew. Uh, so depending upon uh, the sort, like let's say that I'm going to put a um, 
title goes here. We'll just have like a main title in uh, H2 heading would be here. You can change these colors and sizes all right over here under this community plugin, this, uh, the style settings. You can come in here for the blue topaz theme. And this is where you're able to change some of the different things, whether it's the font sizes. I can come down here and look at different, uh, the, here's the headers that you're able to change and adjust. And feel free to uh, experiment around with that. You can retain, retain header color. You can turn that off and on as you want. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Those are my three favorite themes, and I look forward to sharing some more Obsidian videos with you in the near future here as I learn more about how to be able to capture the different thoughts and notes and be able to put them into a more organized manner. Uh, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, and I'd appreciate it also if you give it a thumbs up. Uh, take care, and we'll talk to you in the next video.